Hey guys, how are you today? We're here with another video for my creative year. I'm going to zoom out. Oops, wrong way. And the prompt for this month is journaling. And the topic for this week is use your words. There's a lot of... Oh, wait. Let's, let's focus, shall we? There's a lot of different ways to use your words in journaling. Of course, there's a traditional of write, just writing, doing a written journal and doing a sort of a diary. You can do something that I did here on YouTube a few years back called Negativity Smackdown to work out and, and work through negative emotions. Um, I do a series with my friend Cindy Utter and a few other people, Leslie McGrath included, um, called um, Explorations of Me, which is another take on Negativity Smackdown and something Cindy did. Um, where, again, you're working through your emotions and doing a lot of writing on your pages. You can just keep it simple. Um, this whole year, I've been doing journal journal pages that say something sometimes kind of powerful with one image and one word, and they don't really say too much. Um, my art, I've discovered over the years, is about words. I rarely do a journal page that has no words on it. That's That's really rare for me. I'm all about using words in your art. So I found recently on this theme, I was at the hardware store. <laughs> and this was a flyer at Orchard Supply Hardware at the check stand. And it's for, I don't know, their, you know, rewards point thing, whatever. But that little window that says, are you in? That says a lot, and like our prompt last week, which was emotion, e for me, evokes a lot of emotion. So I want to do something with this this week to give you guys all some idea of what you can do with your words and your art. It doesn't have to be complicated. There doesn't have to be any drawing involved. So I'm going to gather my thoughts and gather some things, and I'll be right okay, back. I've got some glue. I've got some bits. Let's see what we can do. So this is going to be the focus of our page, and unlike last week, um, for the video last week for my creative year, I think I'm going to talk my way through this one. And I'm going to first cut the distracting part of this off. And I'm going to cut out this window. I really should have my reading glasses on for this, but I don't. Like, I like that. So to me, this this really speaks to me. So have you or are you ever feeling like the rest of the world is involved or part of some kind of a group or club <laughs> that you're just not a member of and somebody forgot to tell you about and you just have no idea what they're talking about most of the time? Okay, I've been like that my whole life, and I know there's a lot of you out there that can relate, and I think that's what this says to me, because I always feel like somebody's saying, aren't you in? And I'm just like, what are you talking about? I have no idea. So I'm going to, I have this page, and this is a D Dina Wakely Media Journal, and this is one of her canvas pages, and I took a bunch of, um, that was, I think, a piece of drop paper, I threw that away. I didn't want to throw that away. That was a piece of drop paper that had a bunch of washi tape on it. And I didn't know what to do with it, so I just stuck it to the page. But that's okay. We're going to use it there in our background. Um, my current style of journaling is not about covering up the entire journal page. Um, and let's see. Yeah, I just want one of each color. And um, this is just some scribbling, um, an experiment that I was doing. And I save all these little bits and pieces. And if I don't use them in my art, then I send them out in happy mail and stuff. This is from one of our art experiments, our art mixology experiments. So, but I don't want too many straight edges other than in the window. So we're going to tear the edges here. Instead of fussy cutting, think of fussy tearing. <laughs> so are you in yet? Are you part of that club that other people feel like um, somebody forgot to tell them about? Or are you like me and standing at the window looking in? I always feel like I'm standing at the window looking in. I 
think that one will work fine. Okay, so now I want to dry fit my pieces. It helps if they all lie flat. There we go. And I might do a little writing down here. So let's get these glued down. I think we're going to just use, I grabbed the Elmer's, but actually I think I want to just use fluid matte medium. It's my generally my preferred kind of collage, collage glue unless I'm gluing down something really thick. So... And it'll work just fine on the paper. I mean on the fabric. Y'all knew what I meant, right? Now these um, crayon rubbings are done on deli paper, so they will become a little bit transparent when they're glued down, not too much. And this is just notebook paper. So you can do your journaling with pictures or words. It doesn't have to be just words. That being said, I love to use words in my art and if, especially if you're the kind of person that doesn't do that, I want you to try it and I want you to give it a shot this month. I just find that nine times out of ten, especially when I'm working in my journals, that my work tends to become, even if it doesn't start out that way, about art. I mean about the words. Did you see what I did there? I wanted the torn edge on the window. Um, there is a cut edge up here that I forgot to tear. Um, but I'm going to put it up here and it will disappear into the background of the page. So it's less obvious. I'm going to oops, push things down with a, a card. I've got my heat gun here. So we can try and push things down. The uh, pamphlet might not want to stick. Let's see. Let's see if we can get it to stick. There we go. Didn't want to work.
So words, even if they're scribbly, illegible words, can add a lot to a journal page. Whether you're working on a journal page like this one that simply conveys what you need it to, to yourself and the viewer, or you're doing pages more like these that I've been doing lately, um, not only on these pieces of paper but also in my traveler's notebook, where you create certain drawings and then journal around the drawings to create a whole page. Words definitely are a useful part of your art and your journaling to create to convey certain emotions and feelings about the piece. I encourage you to give it a try if you're not already. There's a lot of different ways to do it from using your actual writing and where you can read it, illegible writing, words from a pamphlet or magazine, whatever it is, break out your words, start using them. I would love to see what you do. If you would like to share it in a safe, creative place, you can join the Facebook group, My Creative Year. The link's in the description below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And above all, besides using your work and your art, your words and your art right now, I want to see you go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.